All right, let's just get this review out of the way. So, hi everyone, I'm ZOS Pantera. Welcome to Z Reviews. Don't forget to check out my second channel on the Patreon, subscribe to and all that shit. Ferrum Ooze and Hipsos. Terrible names, but Polish company, so they're doing their best. So, these are a pair of units. I'm a unit, you're a unit, Diana's a unit, we're units. And I've got IMs in currently. This is an amplifier. It's roughly $2,000. And this is the power supply for said amplifier. It's roughly $1,100. You can leave now. But everyone's talking about it. Everyone's sucking its D. And I'm just going to just, just like a JoJo fan, get right in line to suck that D. Because everything I've plugged into it is the best it sounded on a solid state and we're moving along. So let me wait. Epic score student, the student. Uh, Dunu Zens, which are my go to testing IEMs for noise floor. And um, there is none. I can't hear any. Going through balanced through an adapter. It's just, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's completely, unless I'm hearing like, no, I could hear the, I could hear the heater behind me. I could hear that and I could hear it. And when I have the music pause and the amp all the way up, it's like, am I hearing the amp or the heater? Um, so you do not have to buy these as a pair. You can buy just the ooze, um, with its own power brick. Here's the power brick. It's a meanwhile, which is nice. And this one claims 24 volt, two and a half amp. Now there's a reason, th there's several reasons this sounds best, the better than anything, be it's best. It's the best fucking girl. It's it's the best girl, but you notice slightly unkempt Diana is not very happy because here's what this does. This is a solid amplifier. You go out and spend two grand on an amplifier, great, Z reviews, get gemstones and title, great. Um, this, is what they're being praised for. This is the best device of 2022, I think, 2021, because it's a power supply, but it's not a normal power supply. It's a power supply you can fuck with things. You can literally tell it, because it, it, it's the smartest power supply I've seen, because it's got a list. In fact, the list is accessible on the interwebs. Here, wait, where is it? Where's the compatibility list? So you can buy this power supply and you can run 18 pages of devices, everything from RCAM, Sonlink DAX, to Audio Engine DR, D2R add-ons, to what the next track, to Chord, no, back, back to the list. Oh, there's a list, there's a whole list, there's the whole list. It's insanely long, and then it reloads and it puts it into pages. I don't know why it does that. I like it when it's just a full stupid list. Anyway, that full stupid list is literally inside this unit and you pick what you're plugging it into. Um, unit tour. No, yes. No. When I say you can fuck with it, here's what I mean before I move around to the unit tour. So this one's a 24 volt power supply. Here's a 24 volt power supply. You plug this into this using a special cord because this is just a normal cord. This is just a standard old everyday cord. You plug it in with the special cord with the four poles so that it can detect what it's doing and feed back to tell this so that this can readjust the voltage so that the voltage is consistent, which is like very, very hyper anal about how you're doing that. But when you plug it in and you tell it, I'm doing the, the Ferrum Fer or OOR, when, when you have that amplifier, this says, okay, 24 volt is the nominal output. And then if you go into the voltage thing, it's like, do you want to start playing with it? And like, yes, I confirm. And then you can turn this knob and go, I'm sorry for the screen flickering. It's just a frame rate issue. As low as 22 volts and as high as 30 volts. So it hasn't set it to 30 volts yet. If I want it to be 30 volts, I press the knob again and then it counts down four. You want to sure? You sure? You sure? Boom. Now it's at 30 volts. That's a, a, a hefty swing of voltage, Zeos. Why would you do this? Isn't it rated? Aren't the, all these devices rated for a certain power? Well, yes, they are. I'm taking it down off of 30, by the way, which still works fine. I double checked it, but I was very cautious. Let's go to 25. Uh, it'll count down, and then I'm going to hit 
the knob to exit it and goes back to the same normal screen. Here's here's how this here's what makes this amazing. So the amp is solid. The amp is as clean as the benchmark, uh, you know, fucking full power amp. Not as powerful. It's only about 1.6 watts per channel out of the balanced, but it's got that like mysteriously clean quality to it, where everything I plug into it just works, just works phenomenally, like absurdly well. It's like uh. 909s, super pains in the ass. Don't like to be plugged into things. Uh, I've, I've got uh, ZMF Aeolus. I got the T60 Argons with a new modified um, tuning foam that uh, he's offering on the site. If I can link you to that, I'll do it. It's just a piece of foam that literally goes in there and it just adds on more foam. I don't think it changed the sound in a bad way. I have to give it a full assessment. I got the 8XX with the built-in drop tuning. People keep ripping it out, and I'm like, did you at least give it a try? Did you at least try? Did you try it with the perforated pads, please? And obviously the um, Zens. And every, uh, these have been on my desk now for like a month. And they just sit here, and they just, I plug into them, like, oh, these headphones are good, these headphones are bad. And I don't bring up the amps, because I don't want to bring up the amps. So this is an amp, this is the power supply. This is the DAC I'm using. I'm using the FIO uh, K9 Pro ESS edition. Because I legitimately thought the ESS DAC version. I know DACs don't make a difference until I hear it, then they do. Um, the ESS version of the K9 Pro is XLRing into the back of this, and the signal from this is coming from the Singzer, newly waifu'd Singzer SU6 audio, audio bridge. So, USB from the laptop to that, that's coming out uh, coaxial digital to this, because that's all it can do. And then this XLR to this. And then that's just getting fed power from that and fucking Audio Nirvana. Nothing sounds poor. And then what the voltage change does is it just nudges it. It's like, it's such a small change. Like I, I was doing big swings. I was doing 22 to 30. And on some headphones, it's it just, no difference at all. And on other headphones, it's like 22 is soft and 30 is sharp because it's actually choking. It's literally choking like a Denmark hooker. It's choking um, the power out of it or supercharging it. It's just, and it, the, this amp is obviously built specifically for this. It's, it's by the same company, which I don't understand their design they're going with. It doesn't look expensive. If you said this is two grand and I'm like, but this looks nicer. These all look the same like that. That shouldn't be 2000. And you realize they went, oh, it's rusty over here. It's actually a painted on sticker, I think, or something. It's a very interesting, like, ferrous metal, maybe, is what they're going for. Like, rusted metal. Brown square. Um, but you hook everything up to it, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, this is actually, like, a $3,000 set. I think the... Audio 46, I found out has this. This was not sent to me by Audio 46. It was sent to me by a user who bought it, a patron of mine. And he's like, hey, do you want to try this? I'm gonna, I'm getting it. You want to try it? I'm like, yeah. Everyone's sucking its D, like JoJo fans. So I'm like, send it over. And I've had it here, and I've been kind of trying to ignore it and just like use it in the background. But it's blatantly obvious every time I plug a headphone into this versus something else that's cheaper. It's like, I want to plug it into that more. So... You can all yell at me for using, oh, he's only using an $850 Fio DAC. <laughs> my tea is spilling on my lap. Um, unit tour of both units. Lit FEs. This one, you can control the brightness of that in the menu because it's got a menu. It's a smart unit. This one, you can control the brightness of that with a wheel on the back because it's dumb. This is all dumb. There's nothing digital about this. It's all analog. Uh, screen, it's actually two screens as a split. But screens to do selections, we'll try to get it to film with the camera. I don't know how well it's going to work because it's got that shuttering going on. It's got a knob that you that is a digital knob. When you turn it just now, it selects either voltage or settings. And you push it in to do. And then we've got a 4-pin XLR, a quarter inch, no 4.4 Pentacon. Kind of sad about that. Any, like, $2,000 amplifier shouldn't require me to use an adapter of any sort. But I guess it's kind of small, and they needed room for their logo, so you go get a 4.4 Pentacon. Um, you get a switch here, 
Vertical is powered off. It's, it's actually did dims the, the thing. Then you have RCA to the left because there's RCA inputs. You could hear the relays going, the crickets are running around. And then all the way to the right. is XLR. So those are your, your choices. I like that. I like it because it's literally off. It's a power thing that goes off. Then it's, you want RCA? Off. Or an XLR? Off. Um, and they're old school clicky switches, kind of like the 789. Remember the 789 switches? I fucking love those things. This needs 789 style switches. Theo, get on it. And then to the right of that, you have another one of those that is 0 dB, negative dB, 0 dB, positive dB. Doesn't say how many, just says low gain, Nominal gain, high gain. Um, and then you got a nice big volume knob. It's, it's, it's kind of smooth. It doesn't feel like special at all. It's nice. It's a nice knob. It's got a kind of an indicator here. I'd rather it be better. Currently, that is not the volume knob. In fact, that gain knob is disabled and the volume knob is disabled. Because when we go to the back of this, there is a very specially fucking dangerous thing that they know it's dangerous and they make you take a screwdriver out for it where you can set this amplifier to be a power amp, where these don't do shit, and you had better be able to control the signal source going into it, which is what I have doing it now, um, just because I hadn't done it that entire time and I wanted to play with it. And I think I like it more. Let's stand up. Put this... Can I get that to stand up? Yes. So... Uh, the basics, power, fuse, on, off, master. We have got a USB input here that is specifically for updating firmware. Nothing you can use, it just says USB, don't plug into it. You got a three and a half millimeter trigger. So you have a five to 12 volt trigger thing like you would have on a power amp. You've got this absurd connector, which I guess I'll unplug it from the amp because the amp doesn't care as much. Here you go, this fucking thing that like pulls down and it's got four poles and four pins. It looks definitely like it's supposed to be telecommunication on a submarine. Comes with a little floppy silicone cap. Actually underneath that, can we see this? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a thing. I'm doing a review from behind the desk. This is important stuff. Beautiful. There's your normal 22 to 30 volt, 2.5 amp DC in. So for the normal power brick, here's your, um, go fuck yourself. Read, the, hey, read the manual is what that says. Then it's got a shit logo here for some reason. I'm not joking. It's a square with an S and you have to get a screwdriver and do this. So now the volume control and the gain switches work or you do this and now it's a power amp which is the way I'm gonna leave it, because I like it that way. Here's your FE brightness on the front. It's literally a scrollable wheel. You've got outputs for pre-out into another amp or speaker, something like that. You could use it as a preamp. I, I, I kind of want to use it as a preamp, but I don't know what I would even qualify for quality on it. Because like a good preamp is so good. And then here's your inputs. You got RCAs, you got XLRs, and that's it. Designed and made in Poland by HEM, H-E-M. Put this back down. I am using um, little mini sound dry stands because I think it just makes everything look damn fucking... First of all, it just presents it to you in a nice way. Let's put the power back. There's a red thingy. Let me just go. You push it in and it still like wiggles. Like these aren't like solid. They're, they still wiggle around. But that's locked in. That is as, as in as you're ever going to need to go in. So yeah, there's a tour of the units. They're not, there's nothing ridiculous about the connections or the plugs. Um, it's got a trigger. This has a trigger, which is kind of nice. When I turn this off, this goes off obviously because it's a power supply for that. But then you could have this like daisy chain out to different components. In fact, you could even set trigger settings. Uh, no music is played in my head in like 20 seconds. So let's take this. See, good music is the fuel that fuels a Zeos. When Zeos is doing a review, Zeos needs to hear the music. Because it's like, I don't know, it's like commenting on food that you ate two hours ago. If it's right in front of you and you can just put it back in your mouth, you're going to have a much better way of expressing yourself. So, checking volumes. This doesn't matter. These are disabled. We are an XLR. We have this volume knob here. 
which this is actually a digital volume knob, so we're controlling the output voltage. And this is just hot. Oh, we're back to the, the student. Astrophysics, a cruel angel's thesis synthwave. Oh my God. I'm gonna move you for a second, babies. I'm amazed that these sound good on this. Yeah, okay. So, let's say I'm listening to these, right? Which I currently am, or I've lowered it down. I want to fuck with it. So, we have... I'm going to take the camera off my head and see if I could do this without it looking like absolute ass. I'm sorry for the... I could see it in the camera. So, you have on the side here nominal output, which is what it should be. Then you have the output voltage that you've got it set. Then you have the power output in watts, so it's 15.4 watts, it's currently being drawn by this, even though it's not currently playing. And then the output current is 0.6 amps. And then you literally just have an option here for left and right, which is voltage adjustment. Press that, do you want to start? You say yes. You press the knob, adjust the voltage, and then press exit. So let's say we want to take it for these, let's, I don't know, 28.8 volts. It does this little countdown. This gives you a chance to cancel in case you fucked up. It's done, you press the knob, it's done, you listen to your headphones, you're happy all day. Now, if we go to the settings thing, that's when it gets interesting. So this explains it, and that is where you can see the settings. So the top is back. Look how nice and fluid this is, by the way. I, I really like the way this menu like functions and moves up and down. I am, I am sold on it. So you have back, you have power output, which is... Uh, Current device, so it says Ferrum Ur. It knows exactly what it's hooked up to because I've told it. Nominal voltage, the current set, and the type of cable. Because here's the thing, if you want to do that thing with the cable, you have to buy, I'm turning my, it's not on my head and it feels weird to be filming this while holding it. There, that. So that's what you'd get. You'd get a specifically this power supply thing to whatever your device uses. When you buy the power supply on its own, when you buy the Hipsauce on its own and not in a bundle, you get two different versions of that so that you can plug it into um, whatever. Actually, it's 1,195 euros or US dollars. So just, just combining them. So there's a current device. You can hit reconfigure, um, start the procedure. That's the same thing as starting procedure. You get to voltage adjust. Let's see, reconfigure, hold on. You wanna start? Yes, is the same thing? Oh, okay. So now choose a device. So this is the list. This is, this is the list. So we understand like the list that we saw on the internet. These are all the devices that, it was an IFI one there, wait. IFI iPhono, ICAN SE, uh, iPhone Foe 2, IFI, 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 Inuos, 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 M2 Tech. There's so many. Martin Logan, Electromotion, Theos. I'm actually gonna shut the amp off just in case accidentally it gets kicked in. But, you know, this is, I've never witnessed such a thing. So let's go back to the Ferrum Ur, which is what we have it on. There's a Fio EO9K. Dude, see if this was actually running on voltages and not full 110 mains, this might have a Fio setting in it. So yeah, Fram, Fio, Ferrum. Click that. You want to use that slide over, hit yes. Make sure the proper device. You literally have 10 seconds. Don't fuck this up. That's the don't fuck it up countdown. Did you fuck it up? Good, you didn't fuck it up. And that clicks and blinks on. So now I can turn this back to XLR because we're correct. So back to the settings for a second. Uh, that was power output. We were under reconfigure voltage adjustment. Standby, st power and standby off. So when you stand by this unit, it could still power that. I don't know, it's a thing. Um, for terminal sensing which is what it uses with the four terminals and the wire, where two of them feed power and the other two, it's almost a shocker, the other two literally read the power back through the unit out to make sure it's doing it right. That's, it's wild. Um, and then spread spectrum is uh, something in the manual, which I did, I looked it up. Did I look it up? Yeah, I think I looked it up. I looked it up and I probably forgot what it was, but it has that option. So let's go back. Visuals, so you can change the FE brightness the standby FE brightness, the display brightness, which is currently at 100, which lowering that I thought might help the, the flashing. It does not, it makes it worse. At least I think it does. 
Then you have the display auto off, which is off, because it runs all the time. And then the auto return, if you leave that on the menu, is 90 seconds. So that's that's a thing. Your trigger could be in or out. So it could you have this turn on other devices or other devices turn on this. Beautiful fucking set. That's a beautiful setting. I love that. Then you have remote pairing, because this will work with an Apple TV remote, which it doesn't come with one. But if you wanted to add an Apple TV remote to do some of this stuff, you could do that. Factory reset, and then information gives you... I've, I've, there you go, there's like his name and phone number and there's an email address and the, the address in Poland, so you, you know exactly where it is. The firmware is currently 1.2.0. You could ask about the product and you could look at the license and it's got all this shit and it's great. So yeah, that's basically, that's, that's a smart ass power supply. That is not a dumb ass power supply. That's one that you literally pick the unit you want to pair it with. So if this review was just this amplifier, I would be praising the living fuck out of it. And if the review was just the power supply that could go to all these different devices, which I looked through that list, I don't have many of them. And I would need to get the different adapters. I didn't get adapters because the person who bought this didn't get, you know, adapters, she's getting it for that. But that's cool as fuck. And if you look at it and really consider that it's an insane, like I, I could read specs, I hate reading specs. Where, where is it on uh, Audio 46? Because they've got it all nicely laid out. A uh, nice and nice. So yeah, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, 50 to 60 hertz, up to six amps and 30 volts. So it can do down to five volts, up to 30 volts, and as many as six amps can be drawn from it. It has a maximum impulse current of nine amps or 270 watts at 30 volts. I mean, that's, it's dumb. It has a slow blow Japan fuse. Ooh. So, I mean, I've done videos previously. I do not want to subscribe and save. I've done videos previously on just like units that have add on power supplies. And it's like, well, you can get the cheap one that comes with it. Or, you know, IFI sells the bricks. And I forget which other Manhattan deck, something sold like another giant power brick. And they didn't do much for me. I was like, eh, I guess it's better. I'll use it because I guess it's better. With this one, I can literally fucking warp the sound coming out of the amplifier. Now this is this specific amplifier. I don't know how well it works on other units, but I'm pretty sure because it has a list, when you set it, it's gonna say, okay, the nominal thing for this FIO fucking K9 Pro, which is, no, well, they don't do that, but this whatever IFI amp, you have, it's supposed to be this voltage and we've tested it. They've obviously tested it and you've got a range that is limited to like, okay, you can go down two and up two and a half. And that's it. And if you do that, it changes the sound, the way the components are working. Because there's a range, a nominal range that all electronics work. You don't want to fuck with it too bad. But they've tested it. They know what it'll do or what it can do. And they let you play with that. So the fact that I can play with this, with that sort of swing. Yes, I want to start. Um, if I go down to 22 volts, let's do that. Do this, lower that. Plug in the world's most picky ass headphones. I don't, I'm sure that's not true, but the 909s are pretty fucking picky. Um, it helps when I have the Yaxi 900 pens on there. But I put these in there and I have it set to 22, which is the lowest voltage you could possibly give it. I know it like takes some of the energy out of it, which these headphones can get like, like they had too much coffee and the highs start touching you. Now you take the voltage down two volts from this nominal, then they're perfect. And if I put this in and I've tested this, if I put this in and I go up 23, 24, 25, 26, 27.3. It sounds good. Let's wait four seconds. Wait. I, I it's a good review when I can't tell you what's going on. Because it it's like it's like the, the sound went from like playing to like pressing backwards. That doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, I don't know what the fuck that means. But Frankie goes to Hollywood, two tribes. What the fuck version is this? Annihilation version. It's just, you know, it's it's a pretty consistent. You could see the fucking almost brick wall, just like da 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 da. So when something changes. If you close your eyes, if you don't look at the countdown and you close your eyes, which is what I just did, and you wait for something to sound different, and it does, and it's like, it's just the most minute change. And it's kind of amazing, actually, because it's more demonstrating 
that this sort of little shit can affect it. Does it bother people when it, if it, I, do I care if it's this or this? Not really. But if I can choose how the, the weird like flex of the sound, I uh, it's words, the, the, the drive, the drive of things. These are easy to drive headphones. We are, we are not even at noon here feeding this. Let's go to another monster mesame. I love the Monogatari soundtrack, and I wish I could play it again, but I can't. It's just, these are, it, it, it perfected 909s. The, the, get off. It perfected 909s by adjusting voltage. And that's not even the voltage I enjoy. I enjoy it at a lower voltage. But that's the thing. That's the pro That is the benefit and problem. Again, tweakers, if you're a tweaker, and I'm not talking about what is tweaking, crack, meth, whatever. I'm talking about the tweakers who just like to fuck with an option. Like, there's people who roll tubes all day. There's people who just have hundreds of tubes. I know who you are, and you just, that's it. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to this headphone. You're gonna listen to this one. Aeolus. You listen to Aeolus? No, 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 hold on. And they gotta pull the tubes out, hope that they're not warm, put them away, then pull out the drawer. They gotta, no, 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 this 1977 set of General Electrics. Put those in there, put them on, wait 35 minutes have a cup of tea then you can listen to the headphones so that's that's absurd but people do it and like i'll give you a set of headphones and i'll tell you not to listen to certain songs because it's like they're too sharp like these are usually everything's too sharp don't listen to sharp music but this is like you literally go in and you you just have i'll put it back to the nominal voltage that you would get on that power supply you hit that it switches and now you're you've been given the chance to like assess do i like this more even if it's not better or worse in any fucking sense of the word, do you like it more? Do you like it? Because if you like it, then you can keep it on 24. And the problem being, I have many headphones, it turns out, and every single one of them wants a different... I found my favorite voltage for every one of them differently. And that's kind of a fucking annoyance. Life, life is simple if you just have an amp. I just have an amp and I got the thing. $2,000 sounds fucking phenomenal. Throw all the other $2,000 amps away. But now you've added the, the complication. The implication, as, as Dennis Reynolds would say, is that you're going to plug in another headphone that has been plugged in previously and you're going to look at that 24 volts and go, but I wonder what 23 volts sounds like. So it's made this review difficult because I, every time I put something in, I want to go in and, and fuck with it. Because maybe it swaps, it just twists the voltage just enough that the specific amplifier does a thing that I like more. And that it's real. It's a real thing. It really happens. So do you want that sort of commitment? That's a commitment. That's like a boob slider on, on a girlfriend, all right? Imagine you had a girlfriend, all right? Let's all imagine that. And that every time she walks in the room, you have a knob that you could adjust, bigger or smaller. Imagine how many times you would be like, 200 hours a week. There, are there even 200 hours in the week? You said, no, 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 a little bigger, a little bigger. No, that's too, uh, that's what this feels like. It feels like you have these things you love, which kind of look like boobs, um, and you can tweak them just so. And you're not 100% sure if what you did is better or worse than what you did 10 seconds ago. So you do it again. This knob is going to wear out. Get the, get the Apple remote for it. And I don't even like Apple, but get the Apple remote. I'll link in the description if I hope it's the right one. Because you're just going to break it and you're going to have to throw it away and get a new one that you could just keep. No, more voltage? No, less voltage. And just, that's been my fucking life. That's why I disheveled Diana, all right? It's just, that's what I feel like is happening to my life. It's just, I'm just, leave me alone. Just let me listen to music. It's one of the best sound. For $3,000, you very rarely get something that actually performs like it costs. I don't think anybody needs anything else. Hey, yeah, yeah, do the speech, Zeus. I think this is the best thing ever. I will shill it for life. It will be the greatest. But it actually kind of is. It kind of is. I don't know, like, I know from other people having this and reviewing it and all the fucking awards that it's doing something that's better than just like, oh, another amp. Everyone's just 
go to Poland and drop it on their knees like JoJo fans. So, so will I. So this thing, $3,000 for the set, and I think you kind of... You could absolutely just buy this and then buy this later because it's, it's not much of a savings if you get the, the, the two-pack. But you're going to want that. You're going to want that knob. That knob. This knob, yeah, I could live without it. I'm, I'm pre-apping it. But that knob, mm. Because I haven't used them on a uh, video in, for fucking months. I haven't used ZMF at all. And I apologize to Zach and Bevan because I do love them so much. But it's like, of course they're going to sound good. They're ZMF. Berserk Arc 3, Chant. Now that's music you fall asleep to. Or sacrifice a goat. Aww. London Grammar. Just, just... I'm kind of worried when this goes away that I'm not going to enjoy it as much. In fact, here, let's do, since I'm using this as the DAC anyway, and I praise the living fuck out of this. Needs more, more. Set it to pre, don't blow it up. Yeah, it it's legit better. It's a better, it sounds better. All right, that's a fucking leap because this thing is fucking amazing. But this actually sounds warmer, which the DAC is what supposedly gave me the warmth in it. But the THX somehow, because it's not a linear, like dead sound. Like, I want to listen to all of these things. This actually sounds warmer. But the vocals are, like, not as pronounced through it. Like, this is... My fucking reviewer brain is just... It's, it's usually lizard brain. And now it's just... It's lizard brain that's confused and scared. Because it's like, well, I love this, and this is the DAC that's feeding this. So I know the DAC is the same. And this has a THX 788, like, like twin run, holy shit amps that I fucking sucked. It sucked. JoJo sucked dick. So then I plug it from this, which I'm enjoying the living hell out of it. Warm, and, and, and I put it to pre, and then I go back to this, and it's like... The vocals just, it just stands up more. It just stands out more. So, oh my God, it's a $2,000 amplifier that sounds better than an $850 DACAM combo. We are, we are breaking new ground here on Z Reviews. Shit, actually, now I wonder if I could twist this and get it even closer, like a little bit warmer sound, a little lower, a little slower. I, I don't know, because I've, I've got it at 23, which is basically the nominal voltage for this anyway. Yeah, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for a lot of things. And I like the simplicity of this setup. And the tunability is obviously why you're buying it. Or you're buying this to tune your other devices. Or you're buying this instead of a GSX Mini. Because it's not Class A. It's not, it's not Class A. It doesn't say it's Class A. What does it say it even is? It's just the analog headphone amplifier. The only headphone amplifier with a soul. That's bullshit. I hate marketing. Um, ease of use. Yeah, but okay, yeah. Enhanced transparency. Like, they don't say anything that every other amplifier manufacturer has said in the past. Like, oh my god, this. Oh my god, that. Truly balanced. Discreet design. Everything's discreet. Everything's discreet but your mom, that whore. Um, look and behold the understated looks of the Ur's front only to camouflage its intricate design laid bare on the rear. 100% analog, 100% natural, 100% musical. I hate all the words, all the words. And they, they can't explain what's happening. They don't even explain the type of amplification. Everyone just says it's different than normal and better than everything. And I tend, I have to agree. So this, hopefully the rest of the world gets a set of these. And they go, okay, we can do that. And then we have it on the Topping A90 situation because Topping A90 came out after the 789. 
79 was the first THX amp. Topping A90 came out, was measurably as good or better and had a quote unquote soul. So I liked the A90 better. And then once that was established and other things used it as a branch off point. So everyone now, this is it. This is the benchmark. Even though I, I did a benchmark, but I mentioned a benchmark amp as benchmark. So this is the new benchmark for the best sounding solid state amplifier with its cool feature. And I hope in the future, maybe another year or two, two years down the line, that everyone sort of not steals what they've done here, but understands that this is now what we need to make amplifiers sound like. Do that, please. So I can recommend a Lox GA40 that is a speaker amp that sounds like this with a headphone amp that sounds like this, sounds like this. Oh, I should probably mention that the, um, yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, so this is 1.6 watts out uh, into 300 ohms and eight watts out into 60 ohms. Eight watts. I I, I miss. I said that wrong earlier, where it says only 1.3, 1.6 watts. Yeah, it's 1.6 watts into 300 ohms and eight watts into 60 ohms, which if you look at these, these are 50 ohms. So that's all the power God needs ever, ever. That's why they sound so good. Um, and then the single-ended output is 400 milliwatts into 300 ohms and two watts into 60 ohms. So it's still a lot. So yeah, I uh, I'm gonna put to put the uh, put those power ratings somewhere earlier so people could see it because people go like 1.6 watts. You know, you read it wrong, dickhead. Zeus the dickhead is like, why? But why would you put the, the smaller number first and put the bigger number first? The less specs I know, the more I'm amazed by a thing. If someone tells me it's got a V10 in it, I'm like, oh, that's of course that's why. But if I drive around a Honda Civic and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, and at the end of the review, by the way, it has a V10 in it. It's probably better that way. Um, yeah, no, I, I can fault it not, even if my um, reading ability is meh. So yeah, links to this. Thank you to the owner who will unfortunately be getting it back unless maybe I say I shipped it and then it gets lost in the mail and then he puts in a claim on it and then I just have stolen it and I didn't send it back. Probably should have recorded the that part then okay wallpaper download every wallpaper available um on well it's actually still available on patreon subscribe star but for free you can get them in the wallpaper horde uh, roselio sync thing all 1608 i think and i drag it in there and you can immediately get it if you have roselio sync um links to these links to that links to these Check out my Patreon and subscribe star. Patreon and subscribe star. Well, right now they're all they're doing is supporting my uh, my addiction to having a paved driveway. But eventually, if I like needed this in my studio, I'll call it studio. If this needed to be there, which I kind of want it to be there, and they don't get super hot by the way. So it's, it's like warm, but it's not like like this one doesn't get really warm. This one gets a little warm. If they needed to be there, that's Patreon subscribe star money. Um, See reviews early for $5 a month, all the reviews early. And the more reviews I do, the earlier you get to see them. You get to drop comments on there and people are like, why is this comment nine days old? And it's like, because I'm fucking paying you, bitch. Um, see reviews early, participate in yard sales. First to the 10th of every month, I sell random shit that it's just, I'm done with it. Or a company sent me three of them and I'm like, well, here. And you start the bidding at $0 and I ship free Canada and United States and half shipping international. And then the third benefit of the five dollar tier, because there's always got to be three benefits. So what's the point? Is the sound demo oasis, where you can get all the lost sound demos and all the sound demos that I currently make losslessly. Um, you can also check out the second channel where the sound demos are, but also now it's my second channel, so I just put random reviews of like power tools and things, things that I don't think would work in this channel are there. And then for ten dollars a month on either subscribe to our Patreon, you get in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat where you could ask me any questions you like and then ask me any questions you like, at me for, for that, and then talk to other weirdo audiophiles who for some reason want to pay me $10 a month. There's a lot of, there's like over 200 of them now. It's great. Um, still not paying my mortgage, but we're close. I used to pay my mortgage before the algorithm changed. I hate the algorithm. Fuck you, algorithm. Maybe I should make shorter videos. <laughs> um... Get into a lifetime swap meet channel when you're in the $10 chat. You could just go there and you're in there forever because I'm too lazy to fucking remove you. And you could just, I'm selling these. 
Someone give me money. And then they do. Privately, all people who have been vetted v via having a credit card to get into the Patreon in the first place. It's kind of nice. Um, Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forums. Check out the forums. Things are coming to the forums. We might have merch for the forums soon. I'm, I'm seeing I'm doing merch for myself. And I might do merch for the forums. Well, depending on how much capital I want to put in. Because my friend is doing it all from his house. Um, yeah, we're done here. This was a, I got a cuticle. This was a thing. This is a big, this is actually super big. And I, I don't know how much energy to apply to it because it's three grand. So the, the people watching, the percentage that are actually like, oh, Zio said, this is fantastic. I will purchase it. I, I don't want to appeal to them super hard so that the people who are going like, God, Zio, so are you shilling this thing that hard? Like it's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> It's fantastic and phenomenal. All the F words. It's fucking fantastically phenomenal. But it's $3,000. So we can only hope that mortal people, and I consider myself a mortal, I wouldn't buy this with my money because if a company sends it to me, it's like, all right, if a company sends me that. Okay, great. If you tell me I have to put three thousand, put a mortgage payment into a headphone amp to go next to my 13 other headphone amps. Eh? I love how this is all in the outro. Um, but yeah, no, thank you for supporting me on this channel and then Patreon, subscribe star and Twitter and Instagram. I have all the things, the social medias, them, them socials, as they, the kids call them. Anyway, I'm done. Um, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Cool. We're done.